Hello, I am Yakubu Muhammad. You are welcome to this program, The Noble Icon. Here we talk about noble deeds. Here we celebrate excellence. Here we talk about positivity. Here we bring to the fore people with styling qualities. People who strive to change the world through hard work, selflessness, and the ability to get the best out of the people they interact with. In this edition, we are going to talk about Al Haji Dr. Muhammad Indimi, described as compassionate and an advocate of human happiness. Rightfully, you can call him a rare gem and a humanist. This is a man who is all out to improve poor human condition and provide hope where there is hopelessness. Al Haji Dr. Muhammad Indimi is admired for his groundbreaking works his simplicity, natural sympathy, and oneness with the poor made him to be loved and respected sincerely and wholeheartedly. <music> Al Haji Dr. Muhammad Indimi over the years has proven that he is a man with good heart and sense of universal responsibility. He is a firm believer that better days are ahead. His rise from nothing to something is attributed to having a never die spirit, pure sincere motivation, and the right attitudes towards others based on kindness, love, honesty, and respect right from childhood. Al Haj Dr. Muhammad in the May, age 72, is the chairman of Oriental Energy Resources Limited. A privately held Nigerian oil exploration and production company, he founded in 1990. Oriental Energy is indeed a story of tenacity. Dr. Indimi is a humanitarian and a philanthropist and has received numerous awards as well as honorary doctorate degrees from notable universities in Nigeria, Ireland, and the United States. His philanthropic activities cut across education, health, and social welfare housing and critical aid provision. He is described as a man with a life of purpose, sacrifice, and love for humanity. He has invested heavily in human capacity and promotion of the Nigerian brand to the global business community. From the horse's mouth, I was born into a humble, low-key family. At that time, all my friends were attending formal school, but my parents did not have the money, so they couldn't afford to send me to school. This means that nobody taught me A, B, C, D or how to write my name. I struggled a lot, but now I can read and speak. In my organizations, I have engineers with PhDs, professors, ETC, and I communicate with them very well. I started struggling at the age of 10 because my father was already old and couldn't do anything. That is why anytime I'm driving, if I see children on the road, I always remember that I was once like them. In my family, I was the youngest. My two brothers tried, but they could not make it. So I took over the affairs of the family. I went everywhere to look for how to make money. My father instilled discipline in me, which saw me grow into a responsible man. At the age of 10, we used to go to all the local markets around Borno province, like Gamborungala. My father was into height and skin business, so we would go to the various markets. He would sit in one place while I ran around to buy goods for him. And whenever we are going to the market, I will get items like mosquito nets, textile materials, ETC, and take to other markets. Some of them were 89 kilometers. It took us one month during the rainy season because the roads were small and there were barriers. I couldn't afford sleepers. And if I wanted some, I would go to the market where you put your feet on a tire rubber and they will measure you and cut your size for six pence. Sign out. The Mohammed Indimi Foundation was created to unlock northerners' potentials through the alleviation of hunger and literacy. Established in 2013, Elijah Mohammed Indimi holds firm to the belief that charity begins at home. That is why the Indimi Foundation has been prioritizing the Northeast in its efforts to rebuild the nation one step at a time. He said, and I quote, My life is dedicated to helping people. The displaced people touch my heart deeply. 
and will not rest until the people are settled back in their homes with the support they need to make meaningful livelihoods and rebuild their legacy. Dr. Indimi has a long and proud record of philanthropy and charity, given both personally and through his company. Dr. Indimi performs his charitable act on behalf of Almighty Allah. Dr. Indemi has constructed a 600 million naira solar-powered village consisting of 100 units of three-room house for persons displaced by the Boko Haram insurgency in Borno State. With regard to its corporate social responsibility, OERL has been involved in a variety of activities designed and intended to improve the welfare and development of their host communities. In 2005, OERL donated a 30-person water taxi to one of its host communities. In 2007, OERL, in collaboration with one of their partners, Adax Petroleum Limited, provided comprehensive free eye treatment and eyeglasses to over 800 indigents of its host communities. From 2009 till date, OERL has rewarded more than 150 scholarships ranging from secondary to tertiary education to indigenous of host communities. In the year 2013, OERL constructed and commissioned a 40-room self-content apartment for teachers in Effiat. In 2013, OERL, in collaboration with their partners, Afrin, made a commitment for upgrading the chemical and petroleum engineering department of University of Uyo. 70 youths were trained at seven skills acquisition centers in Uyo, Oron, Eket, and Ewang in Akwaibom State. Some 500 community women were also trained in financial literacy. All of these corporate social responsibility activities have been conducted quietly by Oriental Energy Resource Limited and out of the public eye. Projects and activities due for this year include to purchase and empower 25 local fishermen with fishing equipment and materials, pay existing scholarship recipient and reward additional 50 scholarships, commence training of additional 70 community youth on technical skill acquisition and conduct community health outreach and so many more. Dr. Indemi's company, Oriental Energy, is one that has been led by a team of formidable youths. Majority of the staff in Oriental are below the age of 40, while the company promotes diversity within its workforce. In February 2013, Indemi donated a sum of 200 million naira to the Federal Government Flood Relief and Rehabilitation Committee. In November 2014, Dr. Indemi donated a sum of $5 million for the support of victims of terrorism in Nigeria. In May 2014, Indemi donated critically needed pharmaceuticals and medical equipment worth millions of naira to Borno State Government. In August 2015, he donated the sum of 100 million to internally displaced persons IDPs in Adamawa State. In 2015, Indimi offered scholarships to some students from the Northeast to study undergraduate and postgraduate courses at the African International University, Khartoum, Sudan. As part of his plans to empower the youths of Barono State, Dr. Indimi plans to create a rehabilitation and skill acquisition center that will seek to promote entrepreneurs in the state and also to seek to rehabilitate victims of trauma due to the insurgency in the area. Dr. Indemi will also use his medical factory to train youth in Barno State to learn welding and assembly skills to manufacture pipe and water pumps for use throughout Nigeria. Dr. Muhammad Indemi's notable quotes, Life most persistent and urgent question is, what are you doing for others? Overcoming poverty is not a tax of charity, it is an act of justice. The privately held Nigerian oil exploration and production company had passed through the rosy and the raw path of the industry in Nigeria, including youth restiveness in the Niger Delta region, which he had managed skillfully to the mutual benefit of the company and the community. Dr. Indemi's business acumen and achievements are significant proof that he has been a very good student of his father who had introduced him to commercial transaction at a very early age of 10. Five business lessons from Muhammad Indemi. One, learn your trade. Two, pay your debts. Three, always keep your eyes open for opportunity. Four, 
Diversify your operations, meaning take your business to the next level. Five, exhaust all possibilities and never give up. Sign out. We've come to the end of this program. The Noble Icon. Keep a date with us. Thanks for watching.